Hey, Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. Did you know that we have a new location in Wilmington, North Carolina, and we just so happen to have someone who's interested in having us come out and take a look at their crawl space? So I wanted to read something to you and then talk about what they said. Uh, sump pump and dehumidifier in crawl space. So they currently have a sump pump and dehumidifier installed, but during heavy rains, groundwater rises and then doesn't quickly make its way to the sump pump basin. Why would that be happening? Stay tuned. If you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talked about crawl space encapsulation, sump pumps, dehumidifiers, things like that. So I hope you'll subscribe to our channel and ring that notifications bell. And also find us on Facebook so that you can stay in touch with us every day. This is a gentleman in, uh, like I said before, in Wilmington, North Carolina. It looks like he's the uh, seller of the home and uh, probably he's trying to get it ready to sell. I don't know if he paid somebody or maybe the previous homeowner paid someone to install a, a dehumidifier and a sump pump. But think about that. If you have a sump pump installed and you have the vapor barrier installed and the crawl space is flooding, the water is not making its way to the sump pump so it can be discharged outside of the house. There's a couple different things I want to mention that could be the cause of that. Number one is we feel the plastic is part of the water management system, part of the French drain. So if you have loose lay vapor barrier or you have a, a plastic that is not mechanically attached to the wall and overlapped and taped, then that water, that flooding water can come in and get on top of the plastic and then it has no way to reach the water management system, whether that's a French drain or a sump pump. So that's that's number one. If you're gonna pay to have a French drain installed and to control flooding, make sure that you do a full encapsulation of the crawl space because that plastic helped keep that water underneath so that it can flow to where it needs to go to. The other thing is, is that, you know, like the, the house that we did, the $25,000 redo crawl space, and I'll put a link to that video down below. Sometimes people will actually install the French drain on top of the ground. They're too lazy to dig and put the water management system in the ground. So they'll just, you know, they'll do it like around the door so that the homeowner looks, oh yeah, that looks great. But you know, 30 feet back, they start to go above the ground. There's no way for that water to, uh, you know, get into that French drain when it's installed above the ground. The other thing is it could be installed against the flow, right? So gravity, right? Gravity wants to flow water downhill. If you've got your French drain installed uphill and the sump pumps up here and your French drains down here, the water is not going to send, it's not going to go to that sump pump. So you got to make sure that you have the flow of the water correctly. It doesn't have to be a real high pitch or anything. It just needs to be enough to get the water from point A to point B to the sump pump. The other thing is they may not have installed a French drain. They could have just installed a sump pump and that's a good temporary fix or if you have just like one section of your crawl space that's flooding and that's the only section that you're concerned about like maybe it's a a bowl in the crawl space and all the water gravitates there but you still need to make sure you got a good vapor barrier to keep that water under the plastic so that it flows to the sump pump so those are some of the things that you need to make sure of make sure that the french drain is installed properly make sure there is a french drain make sure the plastics installed properly and make sure that the water management system is either level or pitched towards the sump pump and the last thing the little secret i want to tell you is that if you've got a big big crawl space you may need more than one sump pump i'm michael church with crawl space ninja we hope you make it a happy and blessed day we'll see you later